Oh, look at this one. Which is the one that was by itself? That one, that's this pink. One. So I just came out of the basement from feeding five cute little kittens, little tiny things look like mice. And I'm gonna show you that video, but I wanna give you a quick explanation as to why I have not been online or answering emails or text messages for a week. <laughs> that's a long story, but here it goes. All right, I am back. For those of you who haven't realized it, I haven't posted a video or been online for over a week because uh, I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, I went down to Digstock, which is a big metal detecting event that was in North Carolina. It's like a thousand people. I went down on Wednesday and uh, got together with some people down there, helped set up some of the vendors. On Wednesday, went to a big party Wednesday night at somebody's house, packed. Had a great time. Um, everything was fine. Thursday, meet and greet. Met tons of people. Had a good time. I want to show you a couple little gifts that I received. Now, I actually have more, but I have not unpacked my truck, even though it's been a week. But it's been a rough week for me. Got another beaver. For you, those of you who know the beaver story, he's a cutie. And I also got this really cool little rock. It says, do you see it? Nice little painted rock. And this is from... It's two elves. Two Aqua Chigger from your biggest fan, Caroline. Uh, so that was a really cute little. Caroline wasn't actually there, but her parents gave that to me. So uh, got a couple other things, but like I said, that's all I brought in so far. So back to my story. Why haven't I been online for a week? Big party Wednesday night, tons of people. Uh, tons of people Wednesday, meet and greet. Thir uh, Friday, I spent all day in the woods by myself, metal detecting, found a few things. Saturday, got together with a group of people. And we kind of went around a bunch of different places. And that's when the trouble began on Saturday because by noontime, I was feeling really peaked. Uh, nose is running. I figured I had seasonal allergies. I was like <coughs> coughing twice every 15 seconds. And uh, you probably already figure out what's going on. My eyes felt like I had dust in them. And by like one o'clock in the afternoon, I was like sleeping in the pine straw, barely crawling. I get up, dig for a couple of minutes, sleep in the pine straw, made it back to my truck, uh, fell asleep in my truck for an hour, headed back to the hotel around three in the afternoon, fell asleep in the parking lot of the hotel for a couple hours, woke up like at dark, I was freezing, curled up to my room. This is Friday, yeah, this is Friday evening and uh, absolutely chilled to the bone, cranked up the heat in the room, Popped the thermometer in my mouth, the same one I had when I was trying to test the beer that didn't work because it's a human thermometer. And um, I had a fever of 103. And I know it because I checked it to see. Yeah, so I had a fever of 103. Hadn't had one of those uh, fever like that since I was probably had chicken pox when I was seven. Uh, so I was really sick all uh, Friday night. I was really sick Saturday. I finally got a hold of someone Saturday afternoon, said, dude, I'm not going to make it to the hunt. And they said, uh, you know, so I'm really sick, something's wrong. And they said, well, yeah, um, a bunch of people that went to that party on Wednesday have COVID now. They were tested positive for it. So I figured that's what I had at that point. I had COVID. So I ended up spending all day Saturday uh, in bed. I spent all day, well, not all day Saturday, but, you know, sat all day Saturday night in bed, all day Sunday in bed. Woke up Monday for checkout and beat feet home as fast as I could. Not really, but I just drove. I made it easily, you know, just driving. And um, got home, self-isolated, took COVID test, sure enough, had COVID. Uh, I was really sick there for a couple of days. I only had a fever and extreme tiredness and extreme, I'm really dizzy, like vertigo. Um, so those are the only symptoms I really had. But the tiredness, I just, I just couldn't get out of bed for days. I turned off my phone, I turned off my computers. I haven't been online um, except to uh, text my wife once or twice, but I, I haven't answered any texts in many days. And I apologize to you guys. Um, for those of you who knew that I was sick and have been worried about me, <laughs> if there's any of you out there, I'm gonna find out pretty soon. Uh, but I know there's at least a couple of you. All right, what I forgot to tell you is uh, we're gonna have a little treat now. We're gonna go down in the basement and we're going to see, I'm going to visit my wife. She's feeding five tiny little kittens that she brought home about a week ago. That, um, kind of a long story short, someone brought in a tiny little kitten that was just born. The rest of the litter, they just found like these baby kittens. The rest of them had frozen to death. They had one kitten. 
so my, uh, so I didn't have a mother to go with it. So my wife called around to the local animal, you know, county animal uh, shelters, and she found a cat in Berkeley County Animal Shelter that was giving birth to other kittens. So she went over there and got that cat, brought it back to her animal rescue center uh, so that this little kitten will have a mother and some siblings and we don't have to bottle feed it every two hours for the next month. <laughs> anyway, they're in the basement. Let's go look at them. You remember this kitty? has a good kitty right there. Yes, yes. She bites my feet though. When I get out of the shower, she just loves to bite my feet. All right, let's go down in the basement. Had a little, uh, look, there's, oh, there's, uh, there's another beaver. <laughs> we had a little accident in that the mother got out of the little uh, bathroom we have them in. We'll be in there in a second. And she got up into the ceiling here, which is a drop ceiling. So she's hiding up there right now. She keeps bringing the kittens up there. So we're trying to figure out a way to get her back down here with that kittens. But we got all the kittens right here now. Let's go see Miss Lindsay. Let's see how she's doing. Oh, Loki. How you doing, Miss Lindsay? Good. Oh, that's a cutie right there. What's his name, Bear? <laughs> I just made that up. That thing's about the size of a bumblebee. It's a big bumblebee. Oh. I've actually only seen this a couple times. I haven't really been down here much. Say the first day I felt good. Oh, oh look at this one. Which is the one that was by itself? That one. That's this pink. One? This is pink? Pink. So pink, oh, pink is fat, so you must have already fed pink. Fat. No, I haven't fed her, but okay. she's hungry. So this is the one that was by itself, and his uh, babies had, uh, his siblings had died. And the she other ones to death. are the uh, ones that have the mama in their attic right now, up in the They're top pink. ceiling. They're all see? black, I think. She usually yeah, looks pretty well. Pink. It's pink. pink. Pink is a sassy pink. little girl. She has fat, too. Stop so the mother took right to her, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. That was nice. Would you? I told him the story it? about you having a, got a cat from a shelter. Is he going to do his little ear things? She should. When they start nursing a certain way, their ears like wiggle every time they suck in or something. Yeah, there they go. What's that called? Ears moving. No, that's the word for it. She's, not going to She's got her suck on. <laughs> suck on. <laughs> And not really doing it. Boy, she's a cutie. Look at that little tail. Oh, so cutie. You're the cutie. Anyway, the uh, what we did is we took this thing out of the drop panels. We're hoping that the mother will come over here. We've seen her right here before. We're hoping she's going to jump down into this room and not be able to jump back up there. So we'll have her trapped in here. It's like a test today we're doing that. So far she hasn't done that. We're hoping she does it tonight. But we'll have to feed them by hand like this. Until she, uh, until we can get her back in here full time. I'm afraid that if we just let her come in the door, that she'll keep taking the kittens out and taking them in the, you know, up upstairs. We have to leave that open, the drop, because she's up there right now. So we can't like block it off right now. How's that cutie? Is that the one we're gonna adopt? No. <laughs> I'd adopt all of them. <laughs> all right. There she goes. So, uh, Blaze there is like a day older than the rest, or? Mm, day and a half. Day and a half. Mm -hmm. How much bigger she is already. Mm -hmm. So we still have their umbilical cords on. Oh yeah, See? look at that. Still attached. Oh. I know. They're black like her mother, aren't they? Yep. They're solid black, all of them. Yep. Good little, little mice. <laughs> so, um, I used to raise mice when I was a kid. All different colors. All right, so, um, yeah, that's it. Um, we're going to cut the video off. I'm going to go get it uploaded so you guys can watch it. And uh, I'm going to try to answer as many uh, uh, of my uh, messages and stuff as I can right now. <sighs> I get started like we'll see you a little bit later. She'll take the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother
Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. 